वेलकम टू एडी डिक्टेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स एट फर्स्ट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी देन प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो रेडी स्टार्ट I extend my heartiest congratulations to each one of you on your selection to the government services. You have reached a significant personal milestone with your selection into the distinguished services. It is important that you keep in mind the greater objectives and opportunities that lie ahead of you. This is an exciting time to join the government service. Today, India is the fifth largest economy in the world. The nation is celebrating 75 years of independence as Azadika Amrit Mahotsav. Your career in the Amrit Kal will coincide with the momentous growth of the country. As important functionaries in your respective services, it is vital that you align your individual goals with the larger goals of the nation. Dear officer trainees of Indian Posts and Telecommunication Accounts and Finance Service, I am happy to see that your batch represents the diversity of the nation. I have been told that you belong to 17 different states and union territories. You came from different academic backgrounds. More than half of the officers in your group are from the engineering background. Some of you are also doctors and lawyers. One third of the officer trainees are women. This is praiseworthy, but more needs to be done. One half of our population, our Nari Shakti, should be adequately represented in the workforce. Today, India has the world's second largest number of telecom subscribers with a user base of about 120 crores. We also have one of the cheapest telecommunication services in the world. Telecom sector has a crucial role in advancing a digital connectivity for achieving rapid economic progress. The Digital India Initiative is helping the government deliver various public services with more efficiency and transparency. However, we should continue to strive to connect the still unconnected masses, especially in the rural and remote areas. You shall be carrying out important functions of revenue assessment and collection of license fee and spectrum usage charges from the service providers. There is rapid technological development taking place in telecommunication sector. I am sure that you will continue to innovate and use technology in performing your duties. Dear officers of Indian Naval Material Management Service, the Indian Navy has been successfully safeguarding our maritime interests, trade routes and providing assistance during times of crisis. As members of this service, you will hold key responsibilities in ensuring availability of critical supplies to naval ships, submarines and aircrafts. Maintaining large inventory is a complex task. It requires good knowledge of supply chain management, technical knowledge of equipment and maintenance procedures. I am happy to know that you are contributing towards the promotion and use of Make of India products. This means you are helping realize our vision of Atmanivar Bharat. May your mantra, Har Kam Deske Nam, continue to be your guiding light in meeting operational requirement of the Indian Navy. Dear professionals of Central Engineering Services, connectivity and road infrastructure is vital for the economic growth and development of a nation. Today, India has the second largest road network in the world. By discharging your duties responsibly, you are adding to the socio-economic development of the country. As part of your service, you are entrusted to build and maintain the national highways. In the recent years, the government has taken several initiatives to build new highways and upgrade the existing ones. This will ensure faster transportation of goods and ensure better connectivity for the people. This will also generate employment opportunities. It is your responsibility to ensure that the infrastructure projects you undertake are energy efficient, eco-friendly and sustainable. You also have to ensure that these projects are accessible to our differently abled citizens. I have noticed the high number of fatalities in road accidents across the country. I urge you all to innovate and implement the best engineering and technological solutions to minimize road accidents. Ensuring safety of fellow citizens should be your highest priority. Dear young officers, 
यू मस्ट सार्व द कान्ट्री उथ कन्विक्शन एंड डिवोशन टू ड्यूटी यू मस्ट अपोल्ड द हायस्ट स्टैंडार्डस अफ इंटीग्रिटी एंड डिसिप्लिन व्हाइल परफर्मिंग योर ड्यूटीज आई उइस यू अल ए सक्सेसफुल एंड फुलफिलिंग कैरियर स्टप